What's up guys? Jason here with feelawesomecompany.com and in this video I'm going to go over some of the differences between magnesium glycinate versus magnesium 3 and 8 and I'm going to cover some of the pros and cons of each and if you've been thinking about trying either one out uh, hopefully this video will um, shed some light on which one might make more sense for you. Now before I jump into the differences between the two, I just want to say that both magnesium glycinate and magnesium 3 and 8 are excellent forms of magnesium. Uh, they're both highly uh, bioavailable, so you're able to absorb a lot of the magnesium really well with both of them. Um, they're both incredibly high quality, but there is some differences to them. So starting off with magnesium glycinate this is where uh, magnesium is bound to the amino acid glycine and this is a very uh, relaxing form of magnesium this is great for um, like helping with like muscle tension helping your muscles to relax it's also great for helping your mind to relax as well so it, this is a very good form of magnesium if you're really stressed out and just looking to try to chill out a little bit or if you're looking for a supplement to help you relax at night or um, like if you have some insomnia or trouble sleeping magnesium glycinate can be uh, very beneficial for helping to kind of calm you down and promote sleep now with magnesium glycinate the downside to this is that if you take it earlier in the day it can be a little bit too relaxing sometimes and I mean it'll make it to where like if I've uh, taken it like earlier in the day like in the morning or early afternoon it really mellows me out and I feel great but at the same time I really kind of lose my motivation to get stuff done uh, for the rest of the day so just a precaution as far as it's definitely something I recommend that most people take it at uh, nighttime now with magnesium 3 and 8 or magnesium L3 and 8 uh, which same same supplement just a little bit different uh, name to it uh, this is another excellent form of magnesium and what's cool with magnesium 3 and 8 is that it does a really good job at allowing the magnesium to cross the blood-brain barrier so this is an excellent supplement for getting more magnesium directly into your brain. And this has been shown, uh, getting more magnesium into your brain um, can help with uh, things like cognition, uh, synaptic densi uh, density, your ability to uh, think and problem solve. So this is a great uh, form of magnesium if you're looking for uh, a supplement a magnesium that's more on the nootropic side something that's really going to stimulate your brain now the downside to magnesium 3 and 8 is that it is a, a much more expensive uh, form of magnesium compared to magnesium glycinate or a lot of the other different forms of magnesium so you know if you want the benefits you're going to have to pay for them and it's um not not nearly as cheap as other forms now both are excellent and you can combine the two like if you want to take magnesium uh, 3 and 8 more like in the morning magnesium glycinate in the evening that's an awesome uh, combination as well and as far as uh, these different supplements I'm gonna link to my top recommendations down below and if you want to learn more about the different forms of magnesium I have several other videos on this channel and I'll link to some of them down in the description and I'll also put one up here in the end card for you and I hope you enjoyed this video got some value out of it and if you want to see more content just like this uh, make sure to go down subscribe to the channel and then that way I will see you in the next video peace